Windows XP and the net meeting software has a problem with Windows XP and what you have to do you has you have to turn on a service uh, which is in the services um, console you simply go to start you go to run and type services dot msc here there's other ways that you could have access to it but this is this is the actually the direct uh, way that you, you could get access to the services console so um, as soon as it opens up you have to go find a service called QOS RSVP so it's a RSVP of quality of service so let's open it up again here okay so down the list here it is QOS RSVP it's already started because um, just a couple of minutes ago I was testing the system I just already started it so what you have to do is just simply right click on it click start and make sure on the other computer the on the other computer that the other opponent is connecting as well this service is started and I think another thing that you have to do is go to your connections um, go to my computer we don't have a my network places here go to my network places go to view network connections and if you're either connecting with a modem or a local area connection connected to a router simply just right click on it properties and um, if you're right clicking on a modem you would have you would have the same list that we have here in a networking tab here and on the local area connection it's a general tab so here is the general tab on the modem is the networking tab It's something here named networking but we, here we don't have it okay so here as you see quality of service packet scheduler we just simply click it and click OK so they normally check this this um, service client service is normally checked and installed but just make sure it is okay so let's close this as well go back to um, the net meeting program okay so a couple of features we have here first we could transfer our files we could um, use a whiteboard uh, actually the paint program that comes with Windows XP to, to just paint for each other we could chat and we could share programs first of all let's start with tra transfer files let's click on transfer files let's do this again I don't know what, what is the problem normally the first time that I do it just close it the second time the second time I just choose it again it would give me okay here it is so uh, as you see here the first time that I opened it up this add files option was disabled and w uh, it was actually grayed out but right now it's enabled so I could use it okay so simply just to send a file to the person that you connect to do just simply click click add files and choose a file for instance let's go to my documents my music sample music and choose a um, one of these music here and click on it click send all right click on it and click send all or send the file does it make any difference and it will start sending the file let's go to client one see what's going on here as you see the transfer is already started so uh, and it's finished okay so it would give you the um, place that it was uh, actually stored and so on you could close it open and delete it and so on okay, so we would just simply close this um, this was about actually uh, send a, a file to the other person that you're connected to you could um, use the paint program just to um, make uh, have a little bit of fun simply by clicking on this come here choose a pen and here I'm on client one so I would just simply write client one client one let's go to client to see what happened okay here as you see the whiteboard automatically opened up and what I wrote over there is simply here as well here let's do the same client 2 client 2 and let's go to client 1 okay here as you see it's here again okay so let's just go ahead and close this we don't want to save this and go to client 2 do the same here no I don't want to use this close the send file okay so the third one is the chat simply you could again you just simply click it and you could chat here as well okay we're not gonna go through this this is really simple and finally 
um, the share application feature that is here um, there's a couple of things um, associated with this first of all um, there's two things that you could do first you could share any kind of application that you're using such as um, Photoshop Microsoft Word Excel or, or so on anything any kind of application that you're using for instance if we use if we open up one of our games here the Minesweeper let's go to games Minesweeper and as soon as we open it up it would be actually added to this list so I'm able to share it uh, with the other person that's connected to me uh, with a second or so you would be seeing uh, it listed here here as you see my super it's open and it's uh, listed here so I would be able to click on my sweeper and share it okay we've got another uh, option here sharing true color when you click this if you're on a low connection um, uncheck this make sure this is unchecked because it would actually um, uh, on slow connections it won't be a good decision to choose this because um, by choosing this it would give you really good uh, image quality on the other side um, but on slow connections uh, it would just slow down your connection and so on okay so but since I'm on a LAN connection I would just simply choose it and right now I've chosen Minesweeper I would click share and let's go back to client one see what happened okay here's the C uh, as soon as I shared the program it opened up and I'm able to see um, Jane's um, Jane Doe's uh, Minesweeper that she opened up and, uh, but I don't have any access to it I can't click anywhere so to give access to the person uh, if Jane wants to give access to Dave which is here what she has to do is simply go back here uh, just the place that it shared we just shared it come down here there's a um, button named allow control and just click allow control let's go back to client one here so I'm still not able to do anything what I have to do to be able to do uh, to take control over the program is simply go here control request control and simply by doing this I would ask um, Jane uh, uh, if I'm able to um, use this program so let's go at Jane's computer here and uh, it, there's a request control Dave Doe uh, would like to take control over your shared programs and I would simply accept here okay one other thing is that um, if you want to automatically accept these uh, request and so on simply when you um, click the share control or give control or whatever it was what it was allow control when you um, choose the allow control just simply by ticking checking this um, box here the, um, the request and the request won't be sent to you anymore and the, it would automatically be giving um, the allow permission to them so everybody could take control uh, if you're asking me I would advise you not to choose this simply because uh, sometimes you might not be on a computer and somebody might um, simply request uh, simply simply just connect to you and since this is checked it would uh, take control over your computer okay so let's go back to client one and here as you see I have access so by simply